welcome back to the channel everyone hope you guys are having great time in this video we are going to generate a fee bonuses series as we have uh, performed this practical in almost all practical subjects where we have performed some programming tasks so let's add number and click on generate so it will generate the fibonacci series based on the number that we have provided like uh, it will generate uh, first 10 digits so we need to perform this task so open your visual studio create a new project and select the previous template that we have used in all the projects give some decent name click on create now select template select web forms and keep it as empty project Yes, our project is uh, created. So we'll add new web page. And we'll name it as home.asplex. So we'll give title. Then we will add these CSS and JavaScript options from the previous project. Now let's copy the CSS and JavaScript files, select the project and paste it. Now here we will create our web form. So will take a container as a class then we will take um, class as uh, roads row then inside this we will take uh, column md4 so it will be the one third of particular web page and its container first we will add label then we will add one text box which will accept the number so we'll give id run at is equal to server now we need to add button so add break tag and then ASP button CSS class is equal to btn btn dash primary for these classes refer bootstrap documentation So we'll give id as btn generate run it is equal to server and text for button is generate so this text will be displayed on the button and we'll create one event on click create a new event that will create one event in your page.aspx.cs file where we will write our code then here we will add one button sorry uh, label where we will add the text CSS class is equal to text success ok 
Okay, so GUI part is done. So let's make some changes. Enter in the let's check it how it looks. Yes, GUI looks perfectly fine. Now it's time to write the C sharp code. Let's add some BR tag and check it whether yes. Yes, now it's fine. It's properly aligned and it looks professional as well. So here we will write our logic for Fibonacci series. So let's add some variable double number one, number two, and number three, and number. So we'll create four variables number one is equal to zero, and number two is equal to one. So these two numbers will act as your initial numbers and after that it will get incremented. So NO is equal to convert dot 2 int 32 and inside we will pass txt number dot text. We will assign values. Okay. Now NO3 is equal to number 1 plus number 2. So NO3 will be the number, or we can say variable, which will store the addition of these two numbers. Let's add one string variable as well. String output op. So the number we will get after the addition, it will get appended to the output like uh, Fibonacci series plus, and we can append the text after this. No one comma and no two. So next will be output is equal to. Sorry. Output um, will not add uh, here. Let's use the for loop int i is equal to 2, 2 i less than equal to that number, and i plus plus. The reason I have taken i is equal to 2 is uh, we are starting with. 0 and 1 but we have already done with the implementation and inside the for loop we'll add number 1 and number 2 into number 3 and we will append the output variable op plus equal to number 3 and we'll add a comma as well so it will get appended let's add a comma as well here so no need to add comma again 
and um, number one is equal to number two and number two is equal to number three so we'll append the text to label OP. Let's run this. Yes, let's add 10. Click on generate. Oh, oh, it's giving some error because we have done something wrong. So let's check it. Yes, here we have made one mistake. Instead of number 3, we have added number 3 at the end. So let's run it again. Yes, so we'll enter the number 10 and generate the Fibonacci series. Yes, you can get the output. So let's add a colon and space and run it. Let's add number. Yes, we got the output. So this is how you can calculate Fibonacci series in ASP.NET.